So basically they're putting these masks on the patients and then they're doing MRIs of their throats to see the changes in these airway dynamics. They're basically looking to see how open the throat is when you're using these style masks. And it's quite an extensive study. I won't go through all of it, but we'll come down here because the main findings were this. When patients are using the nasal style masks, the space between your soft palate and your throat, they call it the retropalatal space, is much more open compared with this style mask. And you can see it here. So we're looking at this section here. All right, this space here. See this black part? So have a look at all that black part there. And if we come down here to the full face, right, you can see it's, it's gone, essentially. It was here. I'll come back up again. This whole section here is much more open compared with this here. So basically, your like soft palate area is more collapsible when you're using a full face mask. And there's another study here also. This one is nasal versus oronasal masks during pap treatment, a comparative DICE study. And DICE is drug-induced sleep endoscopy. They put these patients to sleep, they stick a camera up through their nose and down the back of their throat so they can see what's happening with the upper airway dynamics. Same sort of thing, but instead of using MRI, you're using the DICE procedure. And if we come down here to the conclusion, nasal mask is superior to prevent pharyngeal collapse than oral nasal devices under the same pressure. All right, nasal masks significantly decrease the obstruction score when compared with the baseline condition, both in the vellum and oropharynx regions. Total vote score was also significantly lower during nasal mask evaluation when compared with basal condition. Remarkably, oronasal masks, the full face masks, with the same pressure was not as effective as nasal masks. Now, if you're using a full face mask and you're sleeping okay, and your results look okay on Sleep HQ, by all means, carry on. And you don't need to fix something if it's not broken. However, there's so many of you that are struggling with high pressure levels, struggling with leak and comfort, and just having a hard time, you really need to spend some time, a good four to eight weeks, couple of months, trying out some nasal masks, all right? Um, nasal pillow masks, just standard nasal masks, under the nose, nasal cradle style. There's lots available, but check out some of the reviews, of course, if you like see what's available, and then go and try them on, but you've got to put in the time. And you also need to understand what your device is capable of, because there are a lot of different levers we can pull here. Take Kevin, for example, all right? Struggling with mouth leak, and so he's switched to this mask, and now he's having all sorts of problems. What was he on? He was on 10 centimetres, right? So he's on 10 centimetres, but he's got all this leak, so he's losing all this air pressure from the system. What about we take him from APAP on 10 centimetres and we drop him down to a much lower level? I'm talking like, let's go down to seven. And we're gonna fix that at seven centimetres the whole night, even lower maybe to start. Let's start at six and gradually build it up over a couple of weeks to acclimatise to the pressure. But then because he can now keep his mouth closed because there's less air pressure forcing it open, he maintains all the pressure in his upper airway. It's not leaking out through his mouth. So we probably get the same level of stability at a much lower pressure. Or let's just say you're someone using automatic mode, you're using ResMed's standard response. This is a very aggressive automatic response which jacks up the pressure quite fast and quite high. And a lot of the time this can overwhelm someone's breathing because they're breathing at seven and then the next minute it's at 10 and it's like too hard for them to exhale again so they start breathing through their mouth. Did you know you can switch to a soft response which increases the pressure more gradually over time? or the for her response. There are all these different tools available. So you really got to learn how to use your CPAP device. 